So when uh, I got to Zagreb, or at least uh, I'll tell you the initial plan of my trip, it would be to fly to Zagreb. And uh, I booked a flight back from Zadar, which is on the Croatian coast, uh, not too far from Split. And it would be the first Ryanair flight from uh, Zadar to Sofia. The very first one. And I thought, well, I'll just book that as the return leg of my trip. I booked it a few weeks later. I got an email that this trip had been cancelled due to scheduling events, uh, whatever. So I thought, what am I going to do instead? And uh, I'll tell you. Instead, I could have booked a flight back from Zagreb or anywhere, but I wanted to have the whole week and to fly back on the Sunday evening. What I did is I looked at flights from Zagreb to Bratislava and from Bratislava to Sofia. I booked one flight from Zagreb to Bratislava with Ryanair. 5 euros only, which is uh, ridiculously little. Um, in other case, I booked that. And I booked a flight from Bratislava to Sofia for 20. I don't know why these tickets are so cheap. It's probably because there's very little taxes on flying in these areas. So then after booking these flights, I got thinking, well, I might as well travel from Croatia into Hungary and then over land to um, Bratislava, considering that I have several days ahead, right? So that's what I did. The flight, I'm just not going to take it. It's uh, left like that. And this has now proven to be one of the very, very best trips that I've made. I'm radiating peace, I believe. My skin looks great. Yes, I'm gay. <laughs> I'm uh, very focused on skin. Uh, my skin is perfect. I've seldom felt this good in my life. I'm, uh, I'm having issues recording videos now because my phone is basically full. Issue is that I post both on YouTube and Instagram and I can't keep up with posting as I need to make different thumbnails and everything and there's delays and oh, it's a lot of work to keep this up and going truly with the backups and everything is just uh, kinda tough it's like a job essentially